Hello and welcome. My name is Zamul and you are watching TubeMint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy server on a cloud. So I'm going to deploy a Linux server. So let's get started. This is a completely free trial. Uh, you can go ahead and sign up for this free trial. It's completely free, but you need to have a credit card. So now let's go ahead and deploy the server. If you want to have a look at the interface, it's very simple and user friendly. You can see as soon as you sign in, you will be landing on this servers page. If you want to have a look at the storage, you can go ahead and click on it. And these are your options, devices, backups, custom images and templates. We have other Linux distros and Windows servers. You also have free BSD which you can install on your server. Then we have network. Unfortunately, we have nothing on the network. If you want to create SDN network, that will cost you $5 per month uh, per network. Floating IPs will cost you 2.42 per month per IP. Then if you have a team, you can go ahead and add your members over here usage all the usage data will be here now let's go ahead and deploy a server very quickly so in order to deploy a server you need to be on the servers tab here page and then click on this deploy server now these are the locations you can go with I'm going to go with this one let's go with this one this is based in the USA so if you are on the free trial like me you will have only one option here and then you can go ahead and describe your storage so I'm going to just send OS uh, store center OS drive okay now go ahead and hit save these are by default for free trial account automated backups will cost you one dollar mm -hmm. weekly this is going to be monthly this is yearly plan okay that's going to be per month per month this is a week plan okay so this is month plan this is year plan all right so you can go with automated backup if you need then you've got operating systems here I'll go with the CentOS you can go with Debian Ubuntu or Windows you can change the versions of your operating system the servers custom images the CD-ROMs uh, these are the uh, templates from here everything from here okay so go backups I'll quickly go ahead and select my options for you flexible plans you can go with flexible plans as well but nobody likes to uh, again I'm going to change it so center as drive that's the name I've chosen you can go ahead and add device and this is the free space you have automated backup we already have seen it CentOS you can go with the CD-ROM installations and under CD-ROM you've got Arc Linux CentOS 6, 7, 8 and the Cloud Linux Core OS Alpha Container Linux Debian Fedora FreeBSD another Linux distro and then you got Ubuntu so here we, we have chosen CentOS 8 you can select whichever version you want to deploy we've got IPv6 support metadata services this is basically you're going to enable an AIP okay SSH key if you need access from your local machine you definitely want to put your SSH key and name it 
uh, if you have any initialization script you go ahead and load it from here if you already have on your account go ahead and select one from here host name I'm going to say sent OS WP this is going to be a quick description CentOS 8, 8, 8, not 9, 8. And once you're happy with everything, go ahead and hit deploy. This will take up to a minute maximum. Depending on the operating system you've chosen to deploy. And once it's deployed, we will go ahead and log into the system using this console that you get with this cloud oops encountered an error but that is not an issue uh, this is happening because I've deployed multiple times I'm trying just different OS distros okay so it's been you can see if I go to this notification server WordPress on CentOS deployed successfully this is the password and this is my previous OS so I'm going to delete that and now what I need to do I simply go ahead and hit here on the upcloud logo and here I have WordPress on CentOS 8 I can go ahead and click on it so it's running you can see the status you simply have to click on this console and this is resize if you want to resize backup this these are in your information uh, enabled you can see by default these are enabled go to overview now to access CO to uh, center S you simply go ahead and click here console and open console connection this is going to open the console so we are going to require this password uh, which is here and then we are going to use a root user to access this centers so let's have a look it's just trying to okay here we are simply type root make sure you are in here it initially takes time I don't know why <laughs> So guys you have to type in the root username and this password which you get here in the notification. So I'm going to quickly type the password. Q six seven three AXV. I'm going to wait for this because it's a bit slower and then hit enter. So you can see I'm logged in. I can go ahead and add a user. 